So hello everybody, welcome to the Red Clay Music Foundry. Thank you so, so much for coming out this evening. God Almighty, it's good to see you. It's good to see anybody these days. And we're so happy that we can actually do shows and present shows and we get real excited about it. So uh, thank you for coming because Jennifer and me and Jeff and everybody would just feel real stupid if y'all weren't here. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I do want to mention that uh, in the lobby, you know, Jennifer wrote a brand new novel last year and it's a really cool thing and it's available out there. So I want to encourage you to, uh, to go and, and look at all the stuff that's out there before you leave this evening. Because, you know, Christmas is right around the corner. I mean, it's going to be here like that and you're going to need those stocking stuffers. And this would be a great opportunity for you to load up this evening. So please do this. It's not going to piss her off if you buy everything out there. So please consider that. Also, this was an appropriate time to say hello to you folks watching the live stream on EOP Live on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. You'll see it on the top of your chat box up there. There's a thing that says tip jar. And that's not going to piss her off either. If y'all want to put a whole lot of money in that tip jar, that will be A-OK. -okay. And if you would like to get this book, since you can't go to the lobby and get it, you can go to Jennifer's website and get it. And I'm sure there it is available. Right? Yes, sir. Right there on the website. It is there. So think about that, please. And if you don't have all the records, there's a record that goes along with the book. And that's pretty cool, too. So uh, you just need to get all that stuff. Go there and do it. But thank you for tuning in this evening. Go ahead and send a smoke signal to show me your friends and neighbors and family and, hell, even to your enemies. We don't care. But tell them to tune in. It'll be all right with us. Uh, I've only known Jennifer for about a hundred years. Uh, she started coming down to Decatur a long, long time ago. Now, you never played at Trackside, did you? No. Okay, so it was right after I left the transition from Trackside to the top of the Belt Gallant building. Uh, anyway, so uh, but she started coming down, and she is a sweetheart, and I love her to death, and I love old Jeff Neal to death, and they... Uh, birthed some babies and I've watched them grow up and now they're like they're like little uh, adults almost I mean they're they're old and it's like damn so but anyway thank y'all so much for being here we are gonna do two sets of music so there'll be a little intermission we encourage you to go to the bar and get a bucket of something uh, all the all the proceeds from the bar we we give all that away every single night that we do a show and it goes to that same benevolent cause every show and that is my wife and my three children so please please they expensive so y'all go out there and spend some money please 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 and right now what i really need you to do is to sound like you're about a thousand people and give a nice welcome to jennifer daniels thank you eddie it's always a joy to play here and thank you shalom for the impeccable sound and corey for putting us online um, and thank you for being here. Oh, I, got, I kept getting texts. We're a little scared because of COVID. We got tickets, but we're a little scared. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that before the show. Thank you for being here. <laughs> awesome. You were half dead when you left the way. Blood on your hands and hell pain. Imagine your surprise on Judgment Day when he smiles, that smile. Hallelujah, let's go to Jesus. There'll be drumming and dancing and it's trumpet time. You can hear him live with his band of angels. You will remember your freedom and forget your crime. You lost your baby, I lost my mind. The God of heaven lost his very life. To see that all these losses are the closest that we find ourselves to hell. Hallelujah, let's go to Jesus. There'll be drumming and dancing and it's trumpet time. You can Bye. 
enjoying it right now. I polished my nails for you. Oh, I've already messed them. I did them in the car. So, um, and for some reason my right hand ended up better than my left and it made me question whether or not perhaps I am left-handed. <laughs> Except for this one and that's because the right lane was closed. I wasn't driving, but we had to maneuver. <laughs> I love to hear you laugh. I love to see you. I love people so much more than I did last year. Our kids were online all uh, last fall in their school, you know. They're in junior high. It was their first semester of junior high, so here they go from their sweet little elementary and they do online. And, and, then, uh, and we, were, we were real careful. We did all the mask things and, and we were very careful. And then we got to Christmas and my brother said, you know, I can't taste my dip. <laughs> We're like, no. And sure enough, he gave us all COVID. <laughs> uh, so we sent our kids. We're like, well, well, there's nothing to lose now, right? So we sent our kids to, uh, to school, and they had been starved, and they just love people too. So if we learn anything from this, maybe it's to love people. Amen. Is that my dad? Hey, dad, did you make the trip? Oh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> I threw love from the bucket list with a bleeding heart and a balled up fist. That all changed when you stole a kiss from me. Now I feel like a fragile egg. I fall down and I crack my head. Nobody else has got the glue. There's a hole in my heart and it's shaped like Yep. You keep coming, I keep falling, we keep stalling to stay. And now I can't keep another minute without you in it. So baby, let's keep it this way. I've been living on the driver's side. I got my hand on the wheel and a load on my mind. It all changes when we leave this town behind For the open sky and some welcome rest Road trips are what you do best The way we dress get lost a while Oh my God, the way you smile If you keep calling I keep falling We keep starting to stay And now I
did it. It's like we were already friends. That's awesome. Jeff and I sometimes get to go into the school system and, and uh, we do this project called Songwriting is Writing. And I have to convince the kids how cool I am because we don't have a lot of time. I have to convince them very fast that I'm very cool and that we're friends and that they can just be ridiculous because I'm willing to be ridiculous. And so we got to do one in Kentucky in uh, April maybe. And the principal wanted us to do, okay, here's what we do. Monday and Tuesday, we, we write songs. Like we get the theme, we get things that are important. We put them together. Wednesday, we start recording that song. And unbeknownst to the students, Jeff has these fully produced templates, right? So if they want rap, if they want like a hard hitting rock song, if they want a ballad, he's already got the whole thing with the drums and the bass and, and it sounds killer, but we don't let them know that part. <laughs> We're just like, what, what genre, you know? And, and so, uh, so these one, this one class in April wanted to do like, you know, the hard hitting rock, like heavy guitars, rah, dirty stuff. And, um, and so the more we started writing, oh, and so the principal says, we wanna do COVID themes. And I'm thinking, when I first hear this, I'm like, ew, that's the last thing that I want to do, right? So I go in, I convince them how cool I am. And then I say, okay, we are not going to say the word COVID in any of our songs. That is lame. We're not going to say the word virus unless you can make the argument for why it's cool. And, uh, and so we ended up with some of the greatest and really accessible songs by anybody. Like when COVID is just a memory in the past, people will still really love these songs. And um, one of them is called Quarantine With Me. <laughs> and it's this angsty teen love song. It's really fun. We're not going to play it. <laughs> and it's not on an album. So, wow, I got to work on my segues. COVID's made me segue dumb. <laughs> to be <laughs> Did you say that's true? <laughs> that's good. It's true. It's all true. Oh my goodness. So a lot of these songs are on our album, Songs from the Lockbox. And some of them are directly from the character's point of view of this novel that I wrote. And um, it's a sweet love story, and it's, uh, it's kind of got a little suspense, too. Nothing too terrible, right? No Afghanistan horribleness that we want to escape right now. Ugh, help us, Lord. And, um, and so this is one of the songs on the album. The first two are also on the album. Oh, it's a great album. People are going to want to look that up at jenniferdaniels.com. <laughs> I know, right? I'm working on it.
look at me now I swear you miss me every time I could wear those flashy things and get real loud but you'll waste your strength in the flight and all that's best in our life you'll miss the hope that is quiet Jeffrey, I like that you were uh, doing. Oh, get on the move. That's a good one. That may be our best one. We might should save that for last. What if they are like, yep, that's the one I wanted now. I gotta go. <laughs> Not Jeff. You're gonna get us thrown off, man. <laughs> So Jeff and I have been leading church music for our church. For our, it's a very small congregation. Like, you're more than they are. And, and they are small but mighty, and they sing out, and it's super fun. They, they like the old hymns that I grew up on, so, so we enjoy it so much. And, um, and sometimes we, some, we're Presbyterian, so we don't clap and stuff. We don't do stuff. <laughs> so, but sometimes we'll, like, rock a song out, and they'll be like, oh, no, God doesn't like that. <laughs> And it's so fun. I just love them so much. I don't know why I'm telling you about it. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll remember later, though. That's where I am in life. <laughs> okay, here we go. Don't you hesitate. I can hardly wait. I've been here all day thinking how we By the curb, don't you lose your nerve, it's more than we deserve. But we come, we're gonna come undone. Make your way out through the crowd. Do I have to say how? Don't you? 
I changed the strings for them. That's how much I care. <laughs> so uh, our friend Mac went and got us cups because Jeff didn't like the way the water bottles looked on the camera. <laughs> so cheers. You're welcome to go get more drinks or go potty. I say potty now because I'm a mom. And you're welcome to. Um, and we, we'll play a, a louder song so no one hears you. That's important to me. Even now, in my 40s, I'm, it's important no one listened to me. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm, my straps too. I think I look cooler when the, when the guitar hangs lower. It, it, like, I can do my arm like, <clears throat> like it looks cool. <laughs> I spend a lot of time thinking about my coolness. <laughs>
It has gotten cold and dark and violent And you have gotten all boxed up in fear Renting room in lonely We don't get that when we have to do online without any audience. We don't get the woo-woos. We have to manufacture them in our imagination, which I'm good at. <laughs> and y'all say things when I'm imagining you like, you're so beautiful, you're so talented, we can't wait to hear. <laughs> you do? Oh, thank you. Is that what these are? Michael Kors shoes. I'm a fashionista. My mom still has to dress me. It's true. It totally skipped a generation. Like, my daughter, Kate, is completely, like, she's, like, she'll do the sports and everything with the shin guards, and then she'll, like, come shower up and, like, accessorize. And it's, like, a different language to me. Like, she does all the stuff, the jewelry and the curls. and It's awesome. She is, um, she opened a show for us in Chattanooga in July. We don't push her to do it. She's 12, and she writes her own songs, and they're really good. And we would have had her come tonight, except the cousins were going to sleep over at Grand's, and she wanted to have a sleepover. But we'll definitely get you in front of her. I mean, get her in front of y'all, because she's fun. She like owns the stage. She she was a little nervous at first on her big, you know, her first stage with the lights and everything. She was nervous going in, but then she got there, and she she kind of messed up one of her songs, and then she goes. Let me try that again. She's like, it was really mature. And at the end of it, she goes, I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> I was like, it was so great. And it's a, it's a songbird. If you'll Google YouTube um, songbird Kate Neal, even though the newspaper called her Kate Daniels, um, then you'll find her and you'll be glad you did. Colin's going to be mad I didn't tell his Colin has a Kindle Vella going an episodic uh, horror story on, on Kindle. Colin Neal, you can just search it. It's the creature among us. It's pretty cool too. It, but don't read it at night or you will not sleep. It's not scary. It's got like beasts and humanoid things and lots of darkness. There's lots of dark. Oh, we're doing rage now. They're gonna be so glad. 
Um, Shalom, I'm going to move your Neumann. Going to a song called Rage. It is not at any of you. You know that if you if you've followed us at all, you know it's not at you. You know who it's at. So you can share with your neighbor if they don't know. good to be mad. It feels powerful. I'll tell you what feels powerful. <sighs> when I watch that yawn roll through you, I'm like, I'm like that close to God. Like, <laughs> I do a lot of kids shows and, and classes as a teaching artist and I like to make the kids yawn and they get very angry with me when I, when they don't want to. And I make them. Did you know that chimpanzees also contagious yawn? That's what I heard. I've never been with a chimpanzee. I mean, not to yawn for them. And um, I try to make my dog Ziggy yawn. I can't make him yawn, but he can make me. Oh, I can't, I can't even do Chattanooga Choo Choo, can I? Because of the royalty thing. I can. Part of me, boys, is that the Chattanooga Choo Choo? Track 29, can you give me a shine? I can afford, I like the ch, to board the Chattanooga Choo Choo. 
<laughs> I got my fan. <laughs> and just a little, dis well, you can imagine how Sunday goes with us leading. <laughs> Ooh, that one's not right. There you go. So I'm gonna do a love song for you. It's not at all like the mean one we just did. It's very nice. It started when this woman, some of you have heard this, I know. You've heard my stories. I'll, I'll come up with some, oh, I got a new one, and it's in a book, and it's out there, and it's called The Lockbox, and it's really super good. <laughs> and there's a lot of laughter, like it's all, just a lot of my stupid humor throughout the whole book, because I basically wrote it to make myself laugh. And, and then, you know, I had to throw in some suspense stuff in like police drama to make people get it but but mainly it's about kissing <laughs> we really good kissing and uh and a really handsome lead guy he's adorbs you gotta check it out but anyway so this song started when we were we had we used to play all those borders bookstores you know yeah we we played one right here we played one everywhere and um so this lady was watching us for like two hours play this, you know, play our hearts out. And afterwards she came up and she said, she was very complimentary and kind, and she said, would you please do me a favor of letting me read your palms because I have an exam tomorrow. And I didn't know it was something that you could, I thought you had to have like the gift, you know, but apparently you can take classes. So. I was like, yes, sign me up, absolutely, here we go. So she begins to read my palms, and she says, I see that you are very, see, see that? That's why I can't go get expensive manicures, because my gift heart. And she says, I see that you're very creative and passionate. Like, yes, that is true. I see that you had a cataclysmic relationship with your sister. I was like, well, I don't have a sister. I'm like trying, I'm like, don't want to like shut her down, but I'm like, no, but maybe. <laughs> so she's like, your brother. I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. And um, so anyway, so we, we go through the, and so it ended up in the first line of the song because I thought it was cute.
just like your daddy did. I will learn to serve you. I'll learn not to close my heart. If you'll convince me that I'm still pretty beside the man you So there's a character in the book who loses her mama pretty early on. And, uh, and this, she, in the book, she stays a baby. But this is her song. And it's a bummer. I ain't gonna lie. It's a sad song. So you can go get a drink if you don't want to hear it. But then I'll play a better one, yeah? <laughs> it's short. Yeah, time, for, time for a drink. And it's short, though. It's short. It's real. It's like you won't even know. Like it'll it'll hit you. Be like, eh, no, okay, I'm good. It's not gonna be bad. I ain't gonna leave you hanging. In fact, the the main theme of the whole book is read the last page first. Don't really, when you get the book. But that's the theme of the book. That you know, it's it's a happy ending. I, spoiler alert. It's a happy ending. I probably won't ever write anything that's not, cause I like things to wrap up. You know, real nice and kissing. <laughs> so, uh, but here's Annabelle's song. Did you linger in the space above my bed? Did you stop and whisper? I'm right here, sleepy head. Did you turn your face to some glow? Was there anyone there to guide you? Is everything all right? Did they ask you when you reached the sacred gate? Was the some terror wait did you just say Jesus did they let you in did you run to maybe or did you simply end
We were playing at Tybee Island. There's this cute little theater there. It's a, it's a army post theater. This is the last one of the set. Then they get to go pee pee and drink stuff. And, um, <laughs> and it, I don't even have a drink. I gotta go get a drink. So I think Molly's out there pouring and she is so dear. I've known her probably as long as I've known Eddie. And, uh, and she has twins, so she needs tips. I'm just saying from experience. <laughs> Hello, live stream family. There's Corey up there waving at me. Thank you for watching, you guys. Thank you for still being part of our show. Um, when we leave to take a small break, we'll be back. During that time, if you would like to turn over to Jason Harrod's Facebook channel, he is offering a delightful show. But come back. Come, you can alternate. Um, what? What was I telling you? I don't know. So I'm going to do a happy song now. Here's a happy song that is, uh, so some of the album, the new album, y'all, I'm as proud of it as anything we've ever done. Like, I was listening back while we were recording, and I just got tears in my eyes, like the same chills and like, oh, we get to do music, and it's beautiful, and other players came in, just like when we did like our first like dive and fly, you know? I mean, the, the album so long ago, and so anyway, so there's some happy, you know, feel good love songs, being in love and all about it. And then there's some like you just heard that, you know, are, are harder hitting. And uh, it's just kind of the whole gamut. And it's a little different, I think, in production than what we've done before. I, re I hope you dig it. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on it. <laughs> I don't know what happened. That is not good cats eat apples. Ask Tara Shire. So maybe we better wait till the second set. <laughs> I don't. I think it's not um, tuned. It is. You know it. <laughs> oh, the bridge. Oh, don't worry about that. We can never get that right. <laughs> but the album's great. <laughs> You're gonna love it. It's really nice. <laughs> should, should, should we end with um? Yeah, that's it, that's it, that one right there. No, you were just psyching yourself out. So Jeffrey, he kept playing with this. You know what, how the uke came about. Like we resisted the whole ukulele phenomenon. I don't know why, but I guess because all these beautiful women were already doing all the ukulele stuff, I was like, well, I'll just keep me in my uke to myself. And, but, then, but then we asked our uh, kids PTO to like, we're like, if you'll get 60 ukuleles, we'll teach the kids how to play. And they said, yes, we're like, Oh, we better learn how to play the ukulele. <laughs> so, so we started, we were playing, and this is the one Jeff came up with. Um, and it's so much fun. I just love it. Falling, yes, who's falling now? Here 
so we're gonna take a short break, and I hope that you will uh, enjoy beverages and the merch table and each other, and um, online tips. Online tips? No, they don't have to make online no, tips. They already gave a ticket. I'm just kidding. Thank you for being here, online people. We're coming back.
So downstairs, there's a secret green room with real glasses. They don't trust y'all with them. This is for the talent. I got a tune, so it's going to take just a second. Or I could talk to you while. What question do you have? <laughs> Anybody have any questions? Anyone want to throw me a softball? What, what? Something about yesterday. You do, because the cause bottles are gross. It's so gross. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe it was the label that Jeff didn't like. <laughs> are you just are you just trying to be nice to tell me stuff? It's been a long time. No, I will totally knock it over. But that is just. So our kids are as big of spillers as we are. Is that good, Jeff? Nope. Oh, you wanted me to bring you the thing. I know I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay. It's not. It says it's in tune. <laughs> We've been doing this for 25 years. <laughs> You'd think I could hear it. They're 12. Our twins are 12, both of them. They still get asked. So they're boy girl, right? And they still get asked if they're identical. <laughs> They've come up with some pretty nice smart aleck answers. So Kate has this thing she just looks at the people like She's got the whole thing for like It's perfect little No. Ooh, I just met somebody who had mirror twins. Do you know about this? Like the the same DNA, but they're like organs and everything. And one's right-handed, one's left-handed. Wow, right? If I was an overachiever, I would have done that. <laughs> Are we gonna play a few more songs? Thank you for staying. That was very kind of you. It just it gives me such a high that you're here. You don't even know. I I so appreciate it. Thank you for supporting us, and some of you for years and years and years. Thank you. <laughs> I never meant to write a novel. Like I never, that was never on the bucket list. I always, you know, I love writing my songs, which I, w I will say four to five minutes long. I, they used to be like 12 to 13, but Jeff helped me learn how to edit. <laughs> You'll be happy that Jeff and I met. That was like a God thing. And he's helped me to reduce. So he'll say, this is why he's so good for me. Many reasons, but this is one of them. That, song, that, that phrase you just said is so powerful. It would be even better if instead of saying it five times, you just punched him with it that one time. It's so much more powerful. And it, he makes it sound like, oh yeah, I'm gonna cut those other ones. You are, that, yeah, it is such a good line. <laughs> so he like Jedi mind tricks me into editing my songs. Oh, this is one of our best, Jeffrey. my breath and I found my feet and I thought of why you should love me. Your candy apple eyes, your jeans over your thighs. Oh, oh my, you should love me. I thought about 
testing me with this Dive and Fly song. So we have an album called Dive and Fly. It is the uh, first album we recorded that we are not embarrassed to sell. And, <laughs> and uh, it started, so my, my dad, Larry Daniels, give him a wave, Larry. Hey, Linda. And uh, he, he would take us hiking all the time. We have so many great memories. We, we live on Lookout Mountain and uh, near Chattanooga, yeah? And so there's tons of hiking and biking trails and he would take us to the waterfalls and, and I just have all these great family memories of hiking. So another thing about my dad that at least was true at the time is that he is not so fond of being right on the edge of a height. <laughs> and so one time I, I stood very close and he was like, no, come back, come back, come back. <laughs> he was like, yes. And I just remember thinking that was funny because I would like never jump. And then one, and then I was hiking as an adult or college, whatever. And I looked down and saw another bluff there, and there was a girl and her dad hiking. She was standing right on the bluff, and it was the same thing. Like, come back, come back, come back. And I remember this so well. She turned up to look at her dad, and I could see her because I was here. She and with this face, it was like, yeah, I know, I'm not gonna jump, you know. But at the same time, that just loving to be a part of that vertical landscape. And so I wrote this song, Dive and Fly, about that place where we live. Where's my royalty? <laughs> hey, when I get mine, you'll get yours. I got a 74 cent check the other day. I really did. Yeah, right? Woo, every little bit counts, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six.
people smacking on Florida. And I like Florida. They've got beaches. They've got Disney World. Old Jews. Old Jews. Thank you, Shalom. Yes. <laughs> Old Jews. It's like the Lord's place. And, uh, but I don't like Ohio. No. Oh, oh. It's not true. I really like Ohio a lot. But it is cloudy a lot. <laughs> and there are Amish people on, with buggies. And you've got to watch out for that. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Denver ever 
We won our Eddie's Attic shootout with that song. <laughs> I mean, it took us six attempts to win that dang shootout. <laughs> and every time we were like, we suck, we're not going to ever do music again. <laughs> but sure enough, we go back, we win the, we try to win the open mic, and then we get into the shootout. When we judged the shootout, that felt powerful. That felt as powerful as making you yawn. <laughs> oh, are we missing something that you came to hear? No, you're so pleased. Jeff wrote the perfect set list. What? I, I hear some of our songs, but I don't know what you're saying. Day to die. Let's do that one. I gotta write it first. <laughs> Day to live. I wrote that one because Daddy told me I had some lots of really good songs, and they all felt very depressing. <laughs> and maybe I should write one that was upbeat, and I thought it would be funny that it would it would turn on the phrase, it may be a better day to die, but it's a good day to live. <laughs> yes, we will play that. We will play that for you. I wrote it when I was 15, <laughs> and I, I had just gotten a strap. Before that, I was sitting down, if you can imagine, and I was keeping terrible time. It wasn't until I could stomp that I could actually kind of keep time better. I remember we went to a, a, a Gillian Welch concert, and Jeffrey looked at her so lovingly and, and longingly and said, she's like a human metronome. <laughs> and I thought, if I could be any, any better of a woman for the man, I would keep time better. <laughs> In a good way. I mean. So here, here's a, the next two are kind of what the uh, novel turns on. The, the themes that you'll find there. And uh, you have a part in this one. I'll let you know when we get there, but I hope that you'll sing out with us. I can tell that you've lost your way. It's been 12 months ago to the day. I will yell him right out of this grave.
lovely. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. So uh, our friend Damon commissioned us to write a song for his granddad and his grandma. And, uh, and uh, they were getting older. His grandma at the time was, I think, in hospice already. And he told us their story. And the thing that, of course, stuck with us was that this couple would just get on the road. They would go on these great road trips. And they, would, they had business together. And the more he told me, the more I was like, this is, this is us. This is, this is our story. And we were able to write a song for them that ended up being autobiographical as well. And just fit so nicely into the theme of the novel. So uh, I don't, I would like to, I, I wouldn't really like to know how many miles we've traveled, but we've traveled lots of miles together. Being, this is what, our 24th year of touring together full time, our 23rd of marriage. Two cars with over 500,000 miles, Jeff says. <laughs> so lots of miles. One million five hundred? Four hundred. One million four four. It's a lot of math. It's a lot of math happening right now. Okay, so the first one was two Jeeps. Do you hear Jeff? He's talking to you. You've made friends with him. He's talking. <laughs> two Jeeps and one Yukon. XL. He likes to emphasize the XL part. Not that it matters. What? Yeah. Oh, I should tune it, right? Did you give me the tuning look? You didn't even, because I got it before you gave me the look. They've known us long enough. So yeah, this is, um, it ended up being very autobiographical, which I love. I remember my, my papa used to always talk about when the interstates, when they decided to make interstates, which as a kid, I was like, that's the weirdest thing. Interstates are like part of the world and our country. And he was like, yeah, but there didn't used to be them, which was weird. Mind blowing. And he talked a lot about TVA and how they used to have a farm and now it's underwater, which he was thankful for, I think, because before that they weren't eating a lot. And then they got to eat more. Right, what? <laughs> I'm about to have a really good dramatic moment. <laughs> Don't you dare pick slide. Don't you dare pick slide. Every time we practice our church songs, he picks slides after. And I know it's going to create muscle memory, and we're going to be like, holy, holy. And he's going to be like, <laughs> and during the service of the Presbyterian people. And they don't want that. <laughs> God frowns on pick slides. <laughs> He loves them. He, you know he loves them. He, you know he loves Ted Lasso. I shouldn't speak for him. Right? Ted Lasso, right? Anybody? No? Some? Y'all, it's so funny. I know, Apple TV. But I think you can get like a free seven days or something, and you, could, you will totally watch them all like four times in that five days or seven days. Okay. You have to buy a phone? What? No, you can get it. You can get seven days for free without buying a phone. I think. I got a year free for my computer. It's not, it's not, this song is about Apple computers. Don't hold back. Side 
they were thinking of us when they paved the interstate. What did you see in the rear view now? Side roads and handholds still can get us home somehow. Some power cord kids. Do a pig slide, pig slide. You missed your prayer. So loud. It's so loud. It might become a whole new worship thing. I don't know. You okay? We have a few more written down. Jeff made an excellent set list. Um. But, but you have heard what you want to hear, except for Day to Die. Julie! Oh, let's do Julie. You should have seen me trying to teach preschoolers steady beat, but online, where there was a delay. <laughs> I'm not sure you're seeing me do steady beat or hearing it, and you are not doing it. I know that much. It's been a wild ride, hasn't it? Yeah. She tries 
There might be something like beauty somewhere in her life. He cries, well then why won't he fight for me? It's not how it's supposed to be. Julie's even running in her police just found this on the internet. They've been like busting, they've been busting people, especially the Eagles apparently. Like even if you don't play the tune right, but you play the words, they find you. Yeah. They were upset. They felt that. Oh. <gasps> sake you're gonna get us busted on so many levels Yeah. <laughs> 
where would my faster faithless waters run if you were not It has been a joy to play for you. Thank you for coming. Thank you guys for listening online. And, oh, you're so sweet. You a little smattering of applause, a little smattering. I like the word smattering. I'm gonna use it in the next thing I do. Smattering, smattering. Not smite, not smitering. That is different. Um, we're happy to talk to you afterward if you'd like. I think I have a mask somewhere. <laughs> I'm just so over it. I know y'all are too. Um, we'll play this one, and, and I guess we'll we'll uh, then we'll ch we'll talk and we'll cheer and stuff. Cheers, like toast. Well, we can cheer too. Whatever you want. It's up to you. You can come back. We'll have an after party at my house, but we have to go back to the mountain because <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> right. Let's go then, one, two, three, four.
way I'm going, but now if you are willing, you're more than welcome to come. Hope you're heading in the same direction, cause we'll go feeding fishes by the sea. Bet more than we had to give it may be day better, day to die. It's a good day to live. Thank you so much. We hope to see you next time.